I'm Daniela D'Angelo and this is another video on 3-Gun, but this one is for gear tips. A lot of people get hung up on gear because in 3-Gun there's so much going on and there's so much gear. Don't let the gear scare you. You don't need to have too much gear, all the perfect gear right in the beginning. You can take out what you have now and go and shoot a 3-Gun match. My pistol is a 2011 auto ordnance built by Eddie Garcia and it has a red dot on it, a flared magazine so it's easy for me to reload quicker and a compensator on it and it's pretty much a race pistol like race cars compared to a normal car. It's chambered in 38 Super which is pretty much a long 9mm and I use it because I'm mostly a USPSA pistol shooter but I use it in 3-gun and a lot of people like to use carry optic pistols in 3-gun just so it's easier but I like to get that practice in and shoot fast pistol in 3-gun. For competition I use a POF Renegade Plus for my rifle. It has a vortex optic scope and another vortex optics dot on the side of it. I can use a D60 mag, I can use a bipod, it's just anything goes in open. This video is about gear, but the thing that's overlooked is ammo. You could load ammunition, reload ammunition, or you can buy match grade ammo that is ready to take into competition with you. A lot of people discount shotgun shells. They just think, oh, these are shotgun shells, they're gonna run. But when we had mag-fed shotguns, they wouldn't run anything except for Remington. We shoot a lot of different shotgun ammunition in competition. We shoot birdshot, but we also shoot slugs. And if that slug isn't accurate at 100 yards, then you're out of luck. Shotgun shells, pistol ammunition, and rifle is all equally important. When you're shooting long range, you're gonna want match grade ammo to send those projectiles down range, even if there's wind, and hit that target you're shooting at. An important part about gear is it needs to fit you. It's just like the clothes that you wear every day and the shoes that you wear. Sometimes you're not gonna like something and you'll change it to something that you do like. You can go through multiple holsters or multiple belts or different ways of loading a shotgun. I don't like loading a shotgun two at a time or doing a quad load. I use sticks instead. I use Arredondo sticks. The shells go in a stick and I load it and I've practiced it to my liking and that's something that I like doing. Another thing that we use in open is a sandbag so we can set our rifle on it if we need it, if we're in a position that needs more stability. I think a really important part of gear is definitely the belt, especially with what division you're shooting. I shoot open so I have a race holster that is easy for me to pull my pistol out of. My magazines are canted to the side, so it's easy for me to reload faster. So I have clips so I can take things off when it's not needed in a stage. You're gonna be dressing differently when you're shooting a match than just going to the mall or hanging out at home. The shoes that you wear, the pants, the shirt, and even a hat is important for your gear. I wear cleats because they're easy to run in when I'm shooting in the dirt, which is what's mostly in Arizona. If I'm wearing shorts, I might need some knee pads too if I have to take a knee or go prone. You'll add to your bag of tricks each time you shoot more and more. You'll understand which gear you need on which stage just by looking at it you'll get a better understanding of, okay, I need this on this stage and I don't need it on this next stage. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.